Hello, my fair citizens. Welcome back to the Salt Mine. My name is Strider Stone, the mayor of Sodium City, and we have some awesome news stories for you this week. So the very first topic that we have today is going to be a cheating scandal between Adin and the Lex Luthor of MTG. We also have CGB swearing for the very first time in his life. We have a clip of it. It's amazing, right? We have one of your favorite streamers falling asleep while streaming MTG, which is absolutely insane to me. If that doesn't show the state of the game right now, then I don't know what does, okay? I don't know what does. We also have, of course, the biggest meme of all time, Watson making fun of golf in the new secret layer. I'm actually a big fan of this because I also hate golf, but we'll get into this later. We'll get into this later. And then of course, final topic, a little bit less MTG related, but Streamlabs OBS just being shady motherfuckers and finally getting called out and getting put in their place. Let's get right into the news. So getting in with Dean and Zan. Now, I don't know why Dean just decided to be a fucking cheater all of a sudden. I have no idea. But Zan called him out when Dean was trying to act all innocent. I mean, I don't even... Let's just read the tweets together. This is what Dean posted to Twitter and why he got called out by Zan. Hey, bro. Accidentally cheated today under playtesting due to bug with Eruth tormented prophet SMH. Apparently, upon casting, you can play cards that have been exiled. What a cunt. Even from your opponent's exiled zone, I conceded morally like an upstanding Brit like I am. And then I got tea and crumpets. Now, Zan apparently disagreed with this completely because he clapped back with. Weird. That's not how I remember it. We played yesterday some close games. I remember losing because you abused the bug. It was disgusting and I was so disappointed that a person like you would stoop to such a low, low level. Now, apparently when Dean actually posted this clip, he wasn't even talking about the game you played with Zan because he didn't even know that he cheated when he played against Zan. However, I don't know how you could play the game and not know that you cheated, although it doesn't really tell you that you cheated because it's built into the game. I mean, you know the rules, you know what MTGA does. If it's broken, then it's broken. You don't really know it's broken and it can get confusing. Brand new set just came out. The cards just came out. Like there's a lot of, there's a lot of shit that happened. You know, I get it, I get it, I understand. However, when you're a talented player on that level, you're like top 1200 mythic every season. It's hard, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying it's hard. But we have footage of the game. We can see exactly what Dean's reaction is. We have all of that. So we're gonna roll it. You let me know in the comment section below exactly what you think. Do you think he abused the bug? Do you think he did it intentionally, maliciously? I don't know, let me know what you think. Play this in, draw two next turn. What was that? Why did that come here? What? <laughs> no idea. Play the same. Hmm. So after this whole thing went down, after seeing the clips, after looking at the tweet thread, it was all just so confusing. I didn't know what was going on. I think there was just some miscommunication. So what I needed to do as the best person that I could be. <laughs> As a person that does things, I could get them together in the same Discord call and find out exactly what happened and see if we could mend a relationship. So here is the result of that call. So the first question I have for you, Dean, why did you do what you did and think that you could get away with it? Easy, you caught me. Like how many more times do I have to admit it? You caught me cheating. What more do you want? I want you to not cheat. But how else can I win? Like, you know that I'm garbage at this children's card game. So if I can't cheat, how am I supposed to be the best player in the UK? Specifically England, specifically Nottingham. It's those times where you would go to twitch.tv slash Zansayad and type exclamation mark coaching. And then I could teach oh. you 
how to play this game properly and you wouldn't have to cheat at that point because cheating is not how you get friends in this community i mean cheating is frowned upon typically amongst multiple different platforms on other people and uh you know that already because you saw all the people that gave you hate for how much cheating you did well two things on that the first thing for me to go on over to twitch.tv forward slash uh zane's side um and and type exclamation mark coaching you have follower only chat on so i'd have to actually follow you which i don't and second of all the last time i did take coaching from you it was an hour-long session and all you did was just show me your trophy collection like what am i supposed to learn from that you just talked about yourself for an hour listen there's too many haters all right sometimes you just have to show people that hating does not get you the trophies, but winning gets you the trophies. Is 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 that the trophy you won when you sideboarded out all of your gold span dragons against Mono Green? Maybe. Unfortunately, Zan was actually tied up with some personal stuff and it is Vegas weekend. There's just a whole lot of stuff going on this week. So I wasn't able to get Zan on a call to get his side of the story or anything, but hopefully this whole situation is past us and we can all be great friends and hug it out, right? Now this next clip is the moment you've all been waiting for. This is something I thought never would happen. CGB swears for the very first time ever. I couldn't believe it myself. Yeah, all right, let's just roll it, just roll it. I couldn't believe it either, right? It's so weird. It was so weird to hear, but it felt so, it sounded so natural. Like it sounded weird because it sounded natural, right? It's like he does it all the time. It's weird, it's weird, right? Let me know in the comments section below what you think. Do you think he actually swears all the time when he's not recording and streaming? Or do you think he's just like always family friendly? Let me know in the comments section below. Now, a lot of people have came into the stream and asked me personally, some people in the YouTube comments, hey, do you like the set yet? A lot of people just seem to not like it. They want my opinion. There's a whole lot of kind of drama around it. It seems like everyone liked it at first, but everyone is kind of bored of it already. And it's only been like a week. Me personally, I still kind of like it, but I'm just hype on a couple cards. So I may be a little bit biased on that front. But again, a lot of people seem to really not like it. It got to the point where we actually have a streamer falling asleep while playing MTG. Now, who fell asleep, you might ask? Pause the video and let me know who you think it is in the comment section below. Five, four, uh, one, roll the tape. I mean, if I was playing Rakdos aggro, I'd be falling asleep too, am I right? <laughs> am I right? Just saying, just saying. Let me know what deck makes you fall asleep in the comment section below though. Just saying, just saying, just saying. As for the next part, we do have a bunch of secret layers being sent out to people and it seems to have a little peel away sleeve and underneath that peel away, it says golf sucks now and has always sucked. I mean, I mean, they're not wrong, but it's still odd to see on a card. It's funny, but it's odd. So there was a lot of people obviously making videos about this and tweeting about it, making TikToks. There's a bunch of shit and they're hilarious. So I'm gonna roll a bunch of them, some of the best ones that we found. If you found any really funny ones that we didn't include in this video, make sure to link them in the comment section below. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. How would they know? Thank you, Miss Chief, for this gift.
So this next story is going to be kind of slamming Streamlabs. So Streamlabs is essentially a streaming application that most, or maybe not most, well, probably most streamers have used at least some point in time to stream to Twitch, YouTube, whatever they end up streaming to. But a lot of people just use regular OBS instead of Streamlabs OBS at this point. So there was a big problem with Streamlabs OBS to where it seems like they're just stealing and copying a bunch of shit. So here's a couple examples of them finally getting called out for it. So this is gonna be the first example. We have two different websites. We have Streamlabs and we have Lightstream. Now these are already very similar, as you can tell. However, it gets a little bit more similar based on every single thing that you take a closer look at. So you'll see level up your Xbox and PlayStation streams, then level up your console streams. How does it work? How does it work? Activate personalized stream, activate personalized stream. We could zoom in to make it a little bit better. Yeah, see, activate personalized stream, activate personalized stream. Cloud capture for console streams, cloud capture for console streams. Full layout and design control. Full layout and design control. All you need is your console. Go live in minutes from your console. So they'll change a couple words every once in a while. Remote control from your couch. Remote control from your couch. This is blatant copy, okay? Like copy pasta. They changed a couple things. Now, if you think that it's possible that this couldn't be coincidence. Here's the biggest coincidence. The testimonials at the bottom, okay? The test of fucking monials. This is what gives it away more than anything else. Lightstream is literally one of the greatest things I've ever discovered. Thank you so much for making it so easy. Streamlabs Studio is literally one of the greatest things I've ever discovered. Thank you so much for making it easy. Love this platform. Love how they listen to their community. Love this platform. Love how they listen to their community. It's the perfect platform for console streaming. <laughs> like, 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 come on. <laughs> that is a thousand. <laughs> like, come on. You're not even fucking trying at that point. You're not even trying. Like, not even a little bit. So this was the first example. This is the websites, again, between Lightstream and Streamlabs. This is embarrassing. But essentially what happened is that this person, Stu, he's the CEO and co-founder at Lightstream. Okay, so we have the CEO of Lightstream coming out and saying, the team at Streamlabs should be ashamed. True, not satisfied enough to ride OBS projects hard work, now to copy ours down, the layout and every word on our marketing side and our user experience in this product. So OBS retweeted it and said, near the launch of Slobs, Streamlabs reached out to us using the OBS name. We kindly asked them not to, not to. They did so anyways and followed up by filing a trademark. We've tried to sort this out in private and they have been uncooperative at every turn. That, like, that's disgusting. If this wasn't blatantly stolen, this is just fucking stealing plus taking credit. They tried to trademark OBS after OBS told them not to use the OBS name. That's a whole, listen, I'm a degenerate and I'm an asshole, but that's another fucking level. You can't do that to people. That's fucked up. Now, I personally haven't used Streamlabs in over two years at this point, but I am now encouraging everyone that I mod for and everyone out there that is watching this video, if you're gonna start streaming, use OBS or Stream Elements OBS. These are the main core pieces of software. They didn't make their own fork and own application and try to trademark it and steal it. Use OBS or Stream Elements OBS. Streamlabs OBS or Slobs is what they call it or what they were calling it. They are currently in the process of changing it, which I did here. So if we look here, it says, we are taking immediate action to remove OBS from our name 
Streamlabs OBS is built on top of the OBS open source platform. Streamlabs OBS is also open source and our code is publicly available, which is true. We take responsibility for our actions and will support the community. Streamlabs. It's great that they're finally just kind of admitting fault and changing the name and everything. However, I don't know how much it's gonna affect their bottom line, their actual business. I don't exactly know what's going on. So again, what I would encourage everyone to do is not use Streamlabs. It just seems that they didn't say sorry. They didn't do anything. They didn't, they didn't admit fault. They, there was nothing. They literally said nothing. They just said, we're changing the name. It's built on OBS. OBS is open source. Our code is open source whatever it's kind of disgusting on most levels but regardless putting all that aside regular obs and stream elements obs is objectively better the add-ons and stuff that get programmed for obs work on obs they work on obs and stream elements obs almost none of them work on streamlabs unless they're built for streamlabs so just off that i would recommend just sticking directly with the base obs it's just better in the long run. It may be a little bit more complicated to set up the very first time you do it. But after that, after you do it the first time, it's so easy to know just like everything else. It's just better. Just do it. Just do it. Fuck Streamlabs. Fuck you, Streamlabs. Fuck you. I hope you're ashamed of yourself. And I hope all 20 of you who are watching this that streams, that is using Streamlabs, stops using Streamlabs. So fuck you, Streamlabs. Thank you all so much for watching. If you made it to this point, it means you either really enjoyed the video or you fell asleep and I'm waking you up now. <laughs> either way, thank you for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification, come out with videos seven days a week.